Hello, and welcome to the Ibon Estate School for the Gifted. Episode 10, Rest. As always, uh, there... Uh, as always, there are content warnings in the description that may be helpful. Uh, if there's a scene that you think should have a content warning and I haven't done it, uh, leave a comment in the YouTube video and I'll add it as soon as possible. Um, and then, as always, we start with... We start these streams with an in-character question. Uh, this one I, I kind of forgot to come up with, but uh, I have it now, so let us go ask them. Uh, oh, also, this stream will not have Brendan in it, because he is out of town. So uh, that's why there's a little skull over uh, his icon. He, he's currently out of town, so for this stream it's just going to be the three. Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and, and an idiot, another idiot. All right. Um, <laughs> is that what I said, Sean, or is you laughing at something Yeah, else? I don't know. Okay, I don't know cool. why that got me. I'm glad it got you. Got me so good. I'm, it makes me happy, though. All right, fellas. Uh, How's it going? What D&D &D species would you be? I don't like the, I don't like the term race, generally. What D&D &D species would you be? Uh, starting human. With, I, yeah, Raylan, you'd be a human. Yeah. Why? Any any <laughs> explanation? My life is so sad and boring <laughs> that I like to implant myself into other worlds as best as possible. And the easiest way to do that is to just create a character that looks exactly like me. I was asking Raylan. Um, <laughs> anyway, Eugene. What? Oh. What fantasy? Um, what what fantasy species would you be? That's a good question. Um. That's a good question. <laughs> um, you know, I actually haven't given that that much thought. Uh, it's not like we knew know. the question ahead of time or anything. It's not like we knew the question ahead of time or anything. Yeah, um, I, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> Tiefling, play a bard, stack charisma meme. <laughs> nice. And uh, Doc, what what D D species would you be? Um, Let's see. You know, I've always thought it would be really cool to be Arakoa, uh, the bird people. I think that would be neat. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to see what it's like to fly. All right. Uh, I'm immediately going to change the music because uh, we are going to be... This is going to be sort of a, a different session, I'd say. Um, I the usual. The music. We're going to be uh, moving around a little bit. Uh, so, I think it's, what song did I use last time? I don't remember. So I'll go with uh, this one. Uh, first of all, uh, to start as I do with every session, uh, it's the week of September 27th, and you get some time to rest. But before you get some time to rest, Sean, um, you had a dream. I did. You had a dream, oh. uh, Sunday, where is my, ah, the calendar uh, I After the last session, me. whatever that uh, was. Well, yes, after specifically the night you drank uh something that that wasn't sunday then uh saturday that was because sun yeah because sunday was the day we went yeah. down into the saturday um so this is kind of a little bit of, of going back and, and changing things but it shouldn't be that big of a, a change um you had a dream that night i did um actually i believe i probably used this music uh, and i want to that's like that's it that's the music that we use um, music. yeah uh you had a dream that night and you wake up uh you're in a chair you're in a dark office with a large wooden desk in front of you and you recognize it and you recognize I the been, office i've been here before Mm -hmm. I know this mahogany desk anywhere <laughs> Mahog and the mahogany. same the same shadowed person <laughs> behind the desk. Uh, oh. And he says to you, How are you doing? 
Well, that, uh, time travel thing was pretty fucked up. How's the school treating you? Uh, it's awful. It's terrible. <laughs> People are dying. Are you God? No. Okay. Well, I'd like to then be. I'm not... Oh. Well, you know, if you do it, your first act could be fucking fixing that shithole, because, oh my god. People are dead. I time-traveled. I'm seeing people that aren't real. Shit's crazy. Sounds like it. So what am I talking to? Are you like a manifestation of my fear? But no, because other people have had this dream too. We've all had you. We've all seen you. So what are you? It's a good question, especially with the term what. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. Well, see you around. Oh, f nobody in this universe is forthcoming about any. <laughs> and you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> the next morning, bright light comes in, coming in through the, uh, through you don't have any windows, so through the light. <laughs> in your, uh, this is an inside uh, room. Oh, God, so we don't have windows. No windows. Um, I wake up and the and I wake up and I just go, thing. Thing. Yeah, because I said people in this universe aren't forthcoming about any, and then I woke ha. up and I say thing. What do you want about? Oh, just saw the dude with the mahogany desk again. Nothing to worry about, really. Honestly, it's kind of small potatoes compared to you know, time travel. Hey, we're supposed to go check out the that that place today, right? Isn't that what we're doing? Place. You know, Arthur said he was going to take us to the place today. He was going to show us a place where we could hang out. Uh, what, the yeah. safe house? This is, we... this, is, this is Sunday Already morning. went there. This is this Sunday is, No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> that happened Saturday, so you have not been there yet. Yeah, I got it. I'm tying it all together, dude. I'm fucking doing <laughs> well some... Well done. I'm doing some good work here. Narrative magic. <laughs> all right. Hmm. Um, you guys go through the events of Sunday, as you did. Uh, and mm -hmm. we come back to Monday, and Monday. you guys uh, get to level up. Pog, so, pog, 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 pog. Nothing pog. seems to have been happening for a while. Uh, things seem relaxed. Arthur um, has talked to you guys, but it's it's mainly just been you actually shooting the shit and being mm -hmm. friends. Um, things have calmed down a little bit. Uh, you guys go through Monday uneventfully. Uh, I want to see, um, yes. really uh, quickly, I want to see what the others think about this. Devin? Yeah? Did something happen to the character sheets? Yes. Yeah, they um, changed. Yeah, so it's okay. Everything's... Roll20 updated, uh, my apologies. I should have said this before the stream. Uh, Roll20 Whoa. updated their character sheets. Uh, which mm. was crazy because Sean started a new thing with Call of Cthulhu and he's like this isn't the same one as you and I checked it and the answer is uh, yes it is um, they just updated mm. it in the two days between like me between our last session yeah. and Sean doing his that is wild uh, but also this. I kind of like the new one uh, yeah it looks nice anyways my yeah. question for the others was I feel like you keep and I don't know how you guys feel about this but I feel like Raylan would be pushing for us to spend a lot of our free time in the this new like bar thing we've discovered just because I think he feels like it's safer than anywhere else. Wait, okay, now I'm actually genuinely lost. I thought you said we hadn't discovered it yet. No, now we're on no, it's Sunday. Now Sunday. we're now we're on the right day. Sunday oh, has passed we, and we are now yeah. on Monday, the twenty eighth. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I'm we we just had the flashback for the dream. Yes. Um understood. But uh, I, I definitely think I'd be like, hey, instead of, like, going and hanging out, like, somewhere after after class, we should probably hang out in this somewhat safe place? It does seem fairly safe. Yeah. They allow us to bring food in, right? Well. Do they allow us to bring food in? Yes, they do. Nice. Right. So I'd say we, we, I don't know how long you're going to have us go with nothing happening, but we've probably been spending a fair amount of time in that bar. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. I will... Um... Here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sort of describe things. Uh, I'm going to say, in all technicality, you guys are at least in October 1st, so at least like four days have passed. But okay. the level up is going to be over those four days, so I'm going to yeah, describe yeah. it within that. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, maybe even within the week, but we'll, we'll see because I have some things I need to do. Um, I just... I know you're probably going to describe yeah. some events, so I wanted to get that status yeah. quo change out of the way. All right. Sounds good. Um, so uh, I'll go down the list. Raylan. What's up? Uh, where is your first? Let's do anthropology. So roll right. a... Uh, what's it? Improvement roll for anthropology. So remember, you have to fail to succeed. Uh, Fuck. Sorry to, sorry to see that. Oh, uh, dude, no. I, the rolls are different, too. They have the name, like, at the... That wasn't there before. Ooh, nice. hmm. Oh, cool. Uh, Doc? Yes. You brawl. Roll brawl for me. Okay. Did I learn anything from getting my ass kicked in karate? Yes. You did. So, uh, add, I believe, a d10. Is that what it was last time? Yeah, probably. Four. I uncheck um, it even if I pass, right? Yeah, you uncheck it even if you pass. Uh, so, Doc, I'd say with, with a brawl improvement, uh, that's probably just you continuing to go to karate class. Hey. <laughs> you're, you're waking up in the and morning. I'm paying and attention. You're, uh, you're borrowing a little bit of Frank's pre-workout, uh, because it's first thing in the morning. Uh, not, not a full dose of pre-workout, but you're getting a little bit of that, that protein and caffeine, uh, that is in the mess. What that, is pre-workout? Uh, pre-workout is a mix of it's it's caffeine. It's it's heavily concentrated caffeine mainly. Um, oh, I did not know that. Huh. With generally, they have like vitamins and and other energy giving substances. Huh. Uh, I almost solely use post-workout. Uh, yeah, post-workout is like protein. <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah. So what I, uh, yeah. I remember to uncheck it. Uh, oh yes, I have uncheck it. Um, so yeah, so you're, you're using a little bit of Frank's pre-workout with his, uh, with his acceptance. Um, I thank and, Frank for his generosity. And, uh, and he makes a are... grumbling like, okay. <laughs> I'm sure. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you're going to class for, uh, and, and really focusing in because you haven't had much, uh, you know, this has been a, a sort of slightly less busy week. So you've been able to that focus. That is nice. Mm -hmm. um, Eugene. Yeah. Please roll improvement for drawing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what have you been doing to improve your drawing? Uh, but roll a d10 to see uh, how much you get. Five. I, okay. I mean, I'm in an art class. <laughs> right? All right. So for this week, you've you've been given an assignment to draw uh, a person uh, mm -hmm. in in any situation you like. What are you drawing? Like, who are you? Are you asking your friends to pose for you, or are you going around and taking? Like... Oh yeah! <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> um, I am. Um... I'll you pose know, I... for you if you want, Eugene. <laughs> what? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm good. Um, I, I, class. I draw as, as uh, not intimidating, but uh, kind of, I don't know, slightly, like, intimidating as best I can. Self-portrait to stick on the oh. palette of Pocky with a note written <laughs> under it. Please ask first. <laughs> Oh my god. I thought it was going to be a somewhat intimidating portrait of Anne. No, and I just have to go to the tea club to see that. <laughs> I mean, Anne is uh, somewhat, yeah. All right. Uh, so you draw this little, what's supposed to be intimidating, and uh, you you succeed to some extent, at least. Yeah. Um, hey. The first time I see it, I laugh. <laughs> The first time you see it, I have the hammer ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. I laugh, but in a like in a loving way. In a, like... <laughs> I don't even remember who stole it. Was it? It better was be. It was me. It was. It was. It was, it was you. Okay. Yeah. It was me. Yeah. No, it was me. 
Um, all right, and back to you, Sean. Uh, please roll fast okay. talk. Uh, Let's go, baby. That's basically a crit. Talk fast. Uh, yeah, which means I should roll two d ten. That's not how that works. Um, <laughs> Only. I wonder if there is a rule for that, actually. You know, so let's see. What? How do I improve my fast talk? Um, yeah, you think about that while I check if there if crit failing a uh, thing is is good. You know, probably if I had to guess, Sean, practicing with Arthur, uh, like doing board yeah. games or something. Yeah, I probably. Yeah, I think I try to. I meet up with Arthur at the bar one day. And I try to like fast talk information out of him. I try to like ask questions really quickly and try and get him like, like I practice my interrogation methods on Arthur. You I think, I think fast talk. Right. I feel like, no, I feel like fast that. talk is a form of interrogation, kind of asking questions really quickly to try to get them to answer something. Yeah. Why do you think that? Why do I think that? I don't know. So I, was, I was making a joke about oh, trying to fast okay, talk, you ask you a question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you didn't ask enough questions. I should have asked more questions, but I didn't want to overwhelm. You know, That's the whole question. point of what I was talking about. Yes, I realized that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, just one d ten, or have you found it? Uh, I think you should house rule it. Yeah, house rule it, Devin. You're in. You have control. <laughs> yeah, you're in charge. <laughs> Um, it's like the scene at the end of Endgame. We all know who's all. in charge. Yeah. Devin. Fuck for all. all my homies play homebrew. It's definitely Devin, not us. Yeah, homebrew. <laughs> <laughs> Literally all my homies play homebrew. I haven't played in like a non-homebrew setting in... ever. I yeah, think. Alright. Um... I've ever played in the Forgotten Realms. Well, damn. Dang. Hey, oh, yeah, Rizzo Rosfeld was in the Forgotten Realms. Oh, that, okay. that is the only thing we've ever uh, done forgotten. Well, Sean, hey, roll roll a d12. Why not? I'll, I'll give you a chance Let's to go. get a little higher. Fuck! Ray, right. you did it. Um, Not what I wanted. Do I get well, anything out of... Do well, I get out of anything out of Arthur? Let's, not, let's actually have the conversation. Why not? Oh, so, no. I don't know uh, what to ask. Okay. You guys are, are, are sitting uh, in the bar, and Arthur, let me, do I do the bar theme for this, or Arthur's I know. theme? Damn. Um, These are the questions. Play them both at the same time. <laughs> Those are the answers. <laughs> What's the name That's of- Horribly clashing. Really <laughs> amazing. I love it. I'll do, I'll do, no, the Arthur's theme.
Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Being, yeah. So they, what was they were being dramatic. Were um, oh, I don't think they were. were. <laughs> I'm not gonna listen to that one. But they said they wanted me to have some place like who was it? I could do my, Are they still um, here? Were they just no, a grade older than you? Or they're, no, they're gone. They're, okay, cool. Yeah, they're gone. Did they did they graduate or did they die? No, they they graduated. Uh, okay, okay. Who else is you know who else helps you out with investigation stuff besides us? Um, well, I have a lot of contacts, but uh, yeah, Alfred, they're, you know they're... that one guy from the. Uh, T club? Alfred's not a contact. Alfred is. Um, well, he seemed like a contact. Maybe not the kind of contact we're talking about, though. No, he's just a friend. You're <laughs> hesitating. No, he's just a, a a buddy of mine. You know, I just I I see buddies a lot, and uh, you know the way he was looking at you at the fine tea club meeting it didn't quite look like but i mean of course you know maybe you're just maybe that's not maybe that's not your thing you know look whether whether what? or not that's true and i don't believe you but whether or not that's true you don't, don't believe me i don't have time for something oh you don't have like time that. but you're not denying it i mean but why wouldn't you believe me what are you are you you don't believe me? That kind of sounds like what somebody would say if they were, like, scared. He's... But you're not scared, right? You're Arthur. No, I'm you not. Know? You wouldn't I'm be not, scared of anything. I'm not no. scared. I just don't have time no. to make a connection. No, yeah, for don't have time. Right now. That's all. That's all. Don't have time. You're very busy. Very busy Raylan. taking alcohol from freshmen. Raylan. He's going to break your legs. <laughs> oh, nice. Raylan, I'm just saying we all want to see you happy, Arthur. Oh, my God. He's... What the hell is this about? Him? What? What is this about? It's a real I'm not being shit. weird. Why are you interrogating me? I'm 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 not interrogating you. <laughs> Raylan, I you know what? It'll uh, you'll get better at it eventually. Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> um Doc? Yes. Uh, what's your next thing you can improve? Uh, language own. Oh, yeah, true. Go ahead and roll that. Uh, da, 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 da. It's in the middle. Ah, there it is. I just, I didn't see the language own. I just saw own and my brain malfunctioned. Yeah. Because it's a bad brain. All uh, right, that's well, good. shame. Um, you, you spend a lot of the week reading as you get a little bit more time to relax. I do uh, like to read. But you don't, um... You don't read anything that challenges you, you know? Uh, you just read stuff that's sort of at your level. Um, and there, and therefore you don't really, uh, you don't really learn many new words or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Like I'm reading some YA. Yeah, you're reading Y. You're reading stuff at your level. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you know, YA, that useless form of fiction with nothing <laughs> to not offer. I'm not saying it's useless or has nothing to offer. No, I am no, saying no, I under I'm just saying he's stuff. just saying that when he's at high school, uh, he's above above YA. Dude, I understand. Uh, I understand, man. YA, the the uh, the part of fiction with no value. I understand. <laughs> uh, Eugene, uh, you yourself yeah. also roll language own. Language own, 50-50 chance. Hey. hey. Uh, so you, on the other hand, uh, it's a little easier to challenge you when it comes to reading. Um, and so uh, you have been reading some books that are a little more difficult uh, for your uh, uh, vocabulary. You've been learning a little bit of new, new stuff about the English language, both structure and, and, and uh, otherwise. Probably Actually, reading, reading the like English book this time. Textbooks and stuff like that, or an English book. Um. You see, it was also a self burn because I would categorize anything that I write as YA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, this is gonna be a fun one. Raylan, roll library use. It's ah, yes. The improvement for library use. That will be a fun one. Let's hope. Aha! Boom! Boom! Uh, so you. Um, do you want this to be spending time on in the library or spending time doing research in general? I want to discover the secrets of that fucking library. Okay. Um, so you spend an evening, uh, and by an evening I mean many evenings, knowing you, uh, heading around the library looking for information. Not, 
getting too much back as we've said it's been a relaxing uh week uh all things considered so uh but what do you what do you find um what do i find mr dm <laughs> uh let me think mr mr keeper mr keeper what did i find we'll address um, him by his full title the keeper of arcane lore <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Keeper of Arcane Lore, what did I find? What, uh, what's the... Roll luck, roll a luck roll for me, please. I had to... That, that sentence had a hard time coming out. Ah. Uh, you see as, uh, you're upstairs on the second floor. As Ibon, uh, comes in, uh, sort of does the same thing. <laughs> takes his, takes, takes his cap off, uh, at, um... Bernie, and continues into the room and and gets into the elevator. Hold the hold the door. Hold up, hold up. Hold. You're on the second floor, and he's on. The oh, floor. I see him. You see him doing this. Um. Damn. And and he goes up. Goes up, but I can't. But he doesn't come out on the second floor, right? He does not come out on the second floor. Or have we been told about a third floor? Yes, there's a third floor. It's the one with the uh, uh, rooms. Uh, it's the one with the private rooms and the STEM center. Is there a staircase near me? Uh, yeah, it's close enough. As soon as I see him, as soon as I see him in the lobby, yeah. I bolt for the stairs and try and get up to the third floor. All right, roll dexterity. No, oh no, oh no. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, you're able to... The luck to, roll was too good. Uh, you're able to make it upstairs, but uh, before you can make it all the way up there, you hear the, the ding of the... Uh, um, you hear the ding of the elevator uh, on the third floor, but it's but as you get up, it's just students going in. You don't see anyone coming out. God Damn it, why did I roll so well on luck? <laughs> uh, you right, I do some need more to roll time. a d6 though to him, or d10 yes. to improve this. Yeah. Uh, ooh. Uh, and then you do spend more of the evening in the library, uh, looking, probably looking around, but uh, generally reading. And, and you find. Um, you find some books that are helpful for your classes. Uh, but not much for your current research. <laughs> All right. Uh, Doc. Okay. Roll listen for me. I almost don't want mm. this one to succeed. Just because it's funny. Oh, what? boy. Ah, God well, damn it. Uh, I was right. Um, Stays at 69. All right. Eugene. Uh, you roll listen for me. Nice. Uh, that is a failure. Uh, Holy where, shit! Where have you been uh, setting up to live? Where, where do you go to listen? I've been eavesdropping. Where have you been eavesdropping? You know, I've been... I've been... I feel very, very confident. Was that supposed to be my D10? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> do you want to roll um, it yourself? <laughs> no, no, you you already rolled it. I'll, ta I'll take the five. Um... <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Touch another man's dice, Devin. Come on. <laughs> um, I, you know, I've been, I've been trying to. I, I'm feeling very confident in, in, in my little groups being able to stay in the tea club. So I've been, I've been hanging around the, the greenhouse. Ooh. All right, all right. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay. You've been hanging around <laughs> uh the tea house. Uh. I don't want to have you rolled luck, but that's basically not even making an attempt uh, with how high your luck is. Um, Indeed. I, you know. Um, so you've been hanging around the tea house, uh, or, or more specifically, you've been hanging around uh, the, uh, what's, what's the, the greenhouse. Yeah, greenhouse. Um, and, uh, You've been taking tea from Mrs. Bates, and, yeah. uh... Microchips. 5G. Uh, I'm kind of... I'm, <laughs> hmm. 
At least my phone's he fast. Texted you with at, le <laughs> at least my phone's fast. Miss <laughs> Bates uh comes in. Ooh. And uh or or sorry, Miss Bates is already in there with you. She's served you a cup of tea. But roll here, roll stealth for me. It's gonna be a roll. roll stealth. Yeah. Uh pain. pain. Okay. Uh, you want to spend the 32? God is dead. I don't want to spend the 32 because it's 32. <laughs> um, and then I don't have so, 78. <laughs> so, uh, Sinclair comes in uh, while you're sitting there drinking your tea. Uh, Miss Bates, she sort of gives you a little bit of side eye, uh, but shrugs and goes, well, how's everything going? And Sinclair, uh, following her gaze, looks at you and, and, and looks back and and just kind of goes, oh, uh, everything's going well. Uh, I, I think the next uh, the next meeting is going to be, you know, all according to plan. Um, according to Kaikaku. She goes, oh, <laughs> lovely, lovely. Do uh, you have any any uh, tea? And Sinclair's like, no, I'm I'm just going to go. Uh, and he he leaves. Uh, and yeah. they were talking fairly quiet, but you you still heard them. I didn't even say hi to you, Jane. That's he didn't even say hi. That's rude. Very man. rude. Uh, I mean, maybe he's just very tired. Maybe he is. Uh, he's always tired, <laughs> right? Resist the constant uh, state of tired. Roll your listen check for me. All right. Mm. Never mind. Oh, so that's when I get an extreme success. That's <laughs> cool. Cool. Th All right. You know what, guys? I'll see you next week. <laughs> uh, Doc, roll psychology. Yes. See if you could win that 50 50. Yeah! Uh, uh, 1d10? Who do you want to have been. Yeah, 1d10. Uh, who are you talking to for the success in psychology? Arthur. Arthur. I think no. I'm, Arthur. No. No. I think I've been talking to Bernie. Bernie? Okay. Yeah, I've been spending a lot of the time in the library reading, and yeah. uh, I want to continue to build my relationship with Bernie and I'll ideally learn more about him. All right. Your idea on economic so... policy. <laughs> Uh, so, Bernie. <laughs> yeah, tell um, me about your uh, your thoughts. You've gotten a lot of like. Uh, Bernie. Bernie's very upbeat, uh, mm -hmm. very very fun to talk to. Um, seems almost kind of naive, uh, especially compared to all that you've you've seen on the campus. Okay. Um, and uh, you're getting a general vibe of like he he very much enjoys his job, but he doesn't always see the significance of it. Um, especially at, at this school of all places. <laughs> okay, where books are so important, yes. especially to Ibon. Um. Alright. Uh. Okay, good to know. Eugene. Oh boy, oh boy. Persuade. Let's see if you can level up some of those hard-to-get ones. Mm. Ah. Shame, shame. Shame, shame. Uh, oh well. Next time. Raylan. Uh, persuade. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oops, I hit the wrong button. Hang on, I'm, I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm trying to update my journal. Anyways, okay. where's the fucking right button? There it is. Okay, persuade. Um, nice. Baby, yeah! Uh, so, who, who are you trying to persuade? Oh, who am I trying to persuade? Um, <laughs> you go back to fucking Arthur. I swear to God. <laughs> I ask Arthur to meet with me again. Oh, my oh my God. God. Uh, where? Back at the bar again. Okay. Uh, it's my safe Arthur. space. <laughs> at this point, yeah. Uh, so you meet uh Arthur back at the bar, and he goes, "Uh, hey, Raylan. Uh, I, I how's it going, Arthur? I am kind of." I do got my stuff to do. Um, do you? So, uh, what is that? I, it's personal. I'll... What do you? Okay, so what do you, like? I understand, you know, personal stuff that you do. You know, that's that's between you and you. You know, but um, <laughs> what is we're that, out though? here. We're out here investigating and stuff. Like, what do, you, what do you do? <sighs> I assume it has to be something grand and insane. I, um, he, he sits there, he pauses for a second, 
sort of mutters to himself a bit and just goes did i talk did i tell you how i got talked down i talked down a person with a yes, knife no and yeah. i traveled through time yes, i'm just saying well, that one i'm, I'm a little <laughs> interested or iffy on um he goes just saying uh he goes i well okay so i'm a junior uh yes and it's partly two things thing one is that uh i i need to set someone out to to take care of the campus once i'm gone uh I kind of consider myself one of the the, the, the the forces against darkness sometimes. Uh, but I need someone to do that at this campus <laughs> once, you know, I'm okay. no longer at the campus. And Side two, question, at this campus, do you communicate with anybody outside of this campus? No, I'm just trying to use it as sort of a general term. Okay. Um, at the Ayabana State, should we be more comfortable with that? Sure. Uh, and the second thing is, um, I, I have a, my, a bigger thing I'm working on. Um, Ooh. Can I get a hand? No. Okay. I'm well, concerned about it, and so I don't want to... Oh. Again. I time traveled. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I do, you know, just to ease my own mind and to, you know, you say you're training your replacement, you know? Yeah. Which one of us? Oh my god. Um. Well, given that you're all freshmen and you all live in the same room together, <laughs> I was kind of just going all four. I'm just saying, you know, which one? <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> which 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 one of us? You know, which one of us is like? Uh, do you think is the most likely heir to the throne? Uh. Most likely, most likely. Who do you think? Who do you, you know what? Take take me out of it. Take me out of it because you're talking to me. Okay. Between between <laughs> okay. the other three, who do you uh, think uh, is the most likely heir to the throne? Doc seems right. the most level-headed. Okay, excluding me, of course. <laughs> yeah, excluding you. Doc seems the most level-headed. So, Can I roll psychology uh, to see if he's lying? <laughs> if you want. There's sarcasm he's, you can he's, feel. There's definitely, like, a level of, yeah, no. Excluding you, totally. Um, and he's like, yeah, excluding you. Uh, I think Doc probably seems the most level-headed. Probably the, the best for the job. But again, I'm not really looking for, like, a single person of course of course of course of course of course of course <laughs> the, the, the four of you work quite well of course together. of course of course of course of course send of course. help uh all right well um unless you've got like a lead on, on some coming up uh g give me a little bit uh just to catch up on schoolwork and stuff of course i don't think any of the stats i need improving would resolve revolve you uh, involve you <laughs> um God. yeah God. sure sure uh, and we move on to Doc. Uh, please roll spot hidden for me. Ooh, okay, that could be fun if I get it. I like how Devin just went with that. I made a joke and he was like, yeah, Arthur will God respond to it. Damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, um, it is what it is. I don't see shit. Eugene. Uh, Psychology, yes. if you please. Oh boy, oh boy. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh, I feel like I can do these more often since you guys all six, like you're not you're not really getting much. No. And even then, you know, it's only it's only you said you you know you can let us advance a little bit faster, you know, if uh, we're if we're not doing all four years. Raylan, what's up? Uh, psychology, if you please. There we go, baby. Okay. Um, so roll the d10 to get it. Uh, and, and who are you talking to? Who are you trying to sort of get an idea? I want to figure out what the fuck Sinclair's deal is. <laughs> um, all right. Where do you, where do you sort of go to talk to him? I try to corner him in his room. Okay. 
Uh, what time? That's going to be important. Evening. Okay. Uh, so, uh, after school, one of the days, uh, you run by Sinclair's and, uh, you knock on his door and he answers and goes, uh, let me, let me switch it to, uh, nope, didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that. Um, he goes, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Raylan, what's up? Well, oh, not much. Any, I just wanted to any trouble come with the, check. You know, the floor. Oh, oh, the floor. You mean literally the floor? Okay, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> sorry, searching for double meanings in everything. You understand? Um, yeah. No, I just wanted to. You know, you're the RA. I feel like we never talk. I try not to talk to the students I'm in charge of. Yeah, but you know, it's just. <laughs> You know, we care about you, man. You, you, uh, you're, 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 yeah. you're, you're, you're a, uh, you're a, you're a role model to us all. So why'd you stop going to, uh, fight oh. club out of curiosity? Oh, out of curiosity. I, I rolled, <laughs> I rolled psychology, not you. <laughs> uh, uh, no, um, you know, I, um, I stopped going. Because, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's scary. Yeah, I get that. Um. Why do you go? Oh, uh, I'm used to it. Okay, but you said before that, like, the tea helps you, helps you, I think, with, like, because you don't sleep a lot? Or something <sighs> like that? Yeah, um, I mean, black tea helps me stay awake, and, uh... Also, oh, you're trying to stay awake. No, I do both. Uh, oh, okay. You know, okay something okay. like a, a nice, like, vanilla chrysanthemum or something like that helps me fall asleep. Sort of it's, goes you have in both insomnia? directions. Yeah, you could call it that. I could call it that. What would I you don't. Call it? I mean, I've never seen anyone about it. Oh, okay. So kind of self-diagnosed type thing. Yeah. Yeah. He he well, looks a little. I'll give you the psychology role, obviously. He he looks a little sort of half awkward, uh, saying that. Um, there there's definitely more to that mm, than just yeah 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 him having insomnia. What um? Can I try and push him with like yeah, a persuade roll? Um. Yeah, if you want. <laughs> I want to ask him how he got involved with the Define Tea Club. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I mean, you still ask the question. Well, yeah, I know. I... Uh, he goes, oh, you know, I uh, got to campus and, uh, I mean, just like just like you probably did, I, I uh, came in with a... Uh... And showed up really creepily at your at your your table when you were trying to eat food and... Uh, invited no, you? and was the same grade as me, so... Yeah, uh, no, I figured. I was making a joke. Yeah. I, yeah, fair. Uh... <laughs> I didn't notice. <laughs> 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 and he he just kind of goes, no, I, I had a, a part of the Red Letter program, and I just... Someone showed up and said, hey... Did we know that? This? Um, you were told that everyone in the room was part of the Red Letter program, minus Josh mm -hmm. and... Arthur. Arthur. Ar I'm not sure why uh, they Josh, were, Arthur Arthur's and, not... Yeah. Uh, Brendan? Yeah, and Brendan. Right. So Eugene, uh, Arthur, and, and, and Frank. Okay, okay, so... So, yes. Uh, so he... he kind okay. Of, um, so he goes... Uh, yeah, it was part of the Red Letter program and just... Uh, got invited and thought, hey, why not? Well, that seems interesting. You know, Sinclair, we should do this more often. <laughs> I uh, yeah, stop by my dorm anytime if you have any trouble. <laughs> he he you says that script? as if he's he says that if he's reading off a script essentially. I kind of look past him to look at his door to see if there's like anything written on it. There's there's uh you can't see anything written on the door. Uh but his eyes sort of flicker to uh the side of the door as he's saying it. <laughs> 
Alright, well, I'm gonna go probably see some sketchy shit. Alright, well, have fun. See you around. <laughs> <laughs> I do love that everybody that we interact with is so aware of all the weird shit that happens that we can be kind of open about it. It's a weird thing. It's, it's great. It is, but like we're not talking to Howard every day, you know? Like yeah. Howard is Howard is like, what are you guys talking about? But I can be like, probably gonna go see some sketchy shit. <laughs> and Sinclair's like, you probably will. <laughs> um Doc? Uh yes. let's hope beyond hope. Uh <laughs> we'll say. Roll your stealth roll. See if you can get it. No. Oh oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I have it because I tied. You know, you know what? I'll give that to you. Oh, Fuck it. Why not? House hey! hey oh, can somebody I'll write down that he house ruled no, that? No, I did not house rule so, that. Uh, That's not an no, official rule. I just want to give it to him. Uh, He's house ruling it. So, where'd you use My your stealth? Where'd you use your stealth roll? How did you improve uh, upon um, upon being stealthy, Shad? There are some mm. there are some really cursed answers you could give here that I might let you have. So think carefully. Okay. Because what I want to say... <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, I need to turn this music off despite how much I like it. It's so I, good. <laughs> I want to say that I extremely cautiously, during some of my free time, followed Mrs. Bates. Interesting. Uh, from where? Like, starting where? Uh huh. Um. Well, Raylan and I talk a lot. No, was it was it Eugene or Raylan who went to talk to Mrs. Bates? Eugene went, went. to get tea at Mrs. This. Bates, but he yeah. did not really like talk to her much. Yeah, but I know she's generally there. What do I know about her schedule? Uh, you know that she's there quite often tending the plants. Um, at least. Like, during school times, she is either teaching or uh, tending plants, and generally a few hours afterwards. Uh, and I've seen her there know. at night. Yeah. Uh, Raylan has seen her there later at night. Um, but I will... This isn't exactly... This is just describing uh, an earlier scene a bit later. Um, but, so... Uh, she was sort of like packing up, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sort of like getting her bag in order and putting uh, fertilizer and stuff away. Interesting. Okay. So I would follow her from. So I see her packing up fertilizer. Yeah. Around the. the... Around like 5, 6 p.m. Around 5, 6 p.m. I see her packing up fertilizer. Um, okay, there's a few ways to do this. Yeah, I think I would follow her to see where she goes after finishing packing up the fertilizer. All right. So she finishes packing up. Uh, you're sort of hidden within the forest trees. Mm -hmm. uh, fairly easy place to stealth, uh, given its surrounding foliage. Um, Indeed. She exits the uh, I could mm, uh, she exits the greenhouse um, mm -hmm. and uh, locks the door uh, and then as she's walking away uh she she sort of stops for a second. Okay. Uh, you hear her sort of mutter under her breath, like "shit." Uh, goes Ooh. back indoors, uh, fixes something, and then comes back out and then leaves. Goes back inside and fixes something. She goes back inside, sort of messes with like a plant. You can sort of see her in the in the dim evening light messing with like a plant or something, and then leaves, mm -hmm. not locking the door. Oh, yes. Okay. I am going to, after I'm 100% sure she is gone, make my way inside the botany building. All right. So uh, proud of you, Doc. Ooh. 
This, we're never gonna see Doc again, boys. This is where he, uh, This is where we put a skull over Chad's name. Um. Oh, I'm a little nervous about this, but I'm too curious not to. So the first thing I would go is I would go and I would look at the plant that I thought she was looking at. All right. Um, you you look at the plant you thought she was looking at, uh, mm -hmm. and from your best estimation, uh, roll roll intelligence. Okay. Oh, this is this got spicy all of a sudden. All right. Um. From your cool. best intelligence, uh, from your best estimation, uh, it seemed like there were, uh, it, it, it's sort of freshly wet with a scent that is not exactly pleasant to the nose, uh, mm. and there looked to be some, like, dead uh, aphids on the leaves, so uh, it looks like she went back in to do a little pest control that she had forgotten to do earlier. Got it. So that at least seems fairly mundane. Yes, she was uh, doing her job. Okay. Okay. Um. Um. Oh, Jesus Christ. As you're you're sort of walking through the building, uh, mm -hmm. there is one corner that has sort of uh, not red tape around it, but is sort of like blocked off and has a little sign. Mm -hmm. Uh there um and uh i'm trying to think what i can give you uh what can you give me Devin? there's also a uh you've noticed the door before but you haven't like gone in it there's a connected uh uh sort of storage room uh, off to off to one side. Okay. Um, so there's an area. There's a, a corner with plants that are sort of, that look sort of off limits, and um, uh, and a, a storage room. Okay, so I have the choice of a storage room or off limit plants. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try the door of the storage room. All right. Uh, the door to the storage room, uh, feels, uh, booby trapped. Take 10 d10. Uh, no. Um, the door to the storage room, uh, doesn't exactly, uh, how do I, I want to, I want to make this something you can solve. Uh, mm -hmm. But you don't have any fucking locksmith. Um, I'm not a locksmith. Um, um, I'll say it's unlocked for now. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's unlocked. Uh, there you go. Okay. You go inside, it shuts, and it locks. Uh, <laughs> cool. Well, it was nice knowing you guys. I'll, uh, I'll see y'all. Never We're again, done. as I am now a botany experiment. Sinclair's face appears in the window. And... Oh god, no. Oh god, please, no. Alright. Uh... Okay, I'm in, I'm in the storage room. What's in the okay. storage room? You're in the storage room. Uh, a lot of it is things that you would... Um... <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Ryan is giving you multiple advantages. Uh, oh, thank you, Ryan. Is, Much appreciated. Uh, lovely. Um, that is lovely. I might need them. Roll, roll spot hidden with advantage. Okay, cool. All right. Um, sure, we'll take this with us. That's it's not triple advantage. <laughs> uh, the first Ryan, one was I'd, 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 I'd request at least for this scene you don't do it again. I don't remember how many times you are limited to actually doing three. it, though. I think it might be three. I think you might be out. And he already <laughs> gave me one, so I think um, he's stacked. Yeah, I, I think you're out. Uh, thank you very much, though. Um, yes. You you look around. It is mainly uh, you got a hard success. Um, it is mainly. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Technically, you should get the, the ding for that since you rolled the first one correctly. That's funny. Uh, oh, sure. You're not, you're not doing the improvement this time around, though. Sorry, buddy. 
<laughs> but yeah, Fair so enough. um, it is mainly farming supplies, as one would assume in the storage room of mm-hmm. a <laughs> uh of a uh nursery. Yes. Um. But there does seem to be a, a sort of manila folder that is uh, out of place. It's it's odd for it to be in here. It's like on top of a... Uh, what's it called? Uh, it's like on top of a uh, pile of uh, fertilizer. Like on top of a bag of fertilizer. Okay, very carefully... Um... I pick it up. I, I I wrap my shirt around my hand, it and I pick explodes. it up. Um, <laughs> the reason I'm doing that is to avoid fingerprints. Um, I pick it up and I open it. You open it, and uh, you see something that I do not have prepared for you yet, so I'll have to post later. Okay, uh, uh, I'm gonna take a picture of whatever it is. You uh, yes. So what you see is. Uh, it, it, it is a white piece of what looks like printer paper, just like an 8 by, uh, eight by 9 printer paper. Okay. Uh, 8 by uh, 9 by 11, you get what I mean. Uh, mm-hmm. 9 by 11, like, printer paper. But on it is a very carefully drawn a symbol, uh, one that you don't particularly recognize the significance of. Uh, okay. It is... A five-pointed star in <gasps> a pentagram uh-huh. um, with the one of the points being surrounded by a square. Mm, uh-huh. <laughs> um, and there's a, a little bit of other sort of symbology surrounding it, but, but uh, not much of note currently. Okay. And you get a photo of it? I absolutely get a photo of it. All right. And then I place it back exactly where it was. Exactly where it was. Yes. Roll. No, I'm fucking with you. Um, I mean, you can if you want. I know. Um, all right. And then do you leave or do you investigate the plants? Uh, I would like to, to listen to see if there's the sounds of anyone at all around before I go to the plant room. I, I leave the storage closet and I want to, like, okay. listen carefully. Roll listen. Ah, uh, okay. well, uh... I'll say, I'll say that didn't take her other advantage. Why not? Um, Much appreciated. You take a deep breath in. You hold your perception open for a second just to hear anyone coming in. Um... And you don't, uh, you don't hear anyone. Okay. Then I'm going to make my way towards the plant room. All right. Um, uh, it's, since... it's just sort of the corner. It's, it's a large room. So, uh, it's just sort of in okay. the corner of this, this open room. Okay. I will head towards the corner. Uh, and actually what else I will do is I will pull my shirt up over my mouth, uh, to make a sort of makeshift filter just in case the plants are poisonous. All right. Um, Doc is a very cautious you, person. You may have picked this up. You come up to the corner of the room that's sort of taped off, and it says on a sign connected to this tape, uh, poison plants. Uh-huh. If you're snooping, don't touch. <laughs> okay. Um... And then in little, like, handwriting uh, under, like, that looks like it's printed from printer paper. Um, And in little, like, handwriting under it, it says, or do, I'm not your boss. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Um. Okay. Um, If you're snooping. (laughs) Touch. Incredible. Um. I'm gonna touch it. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I what know. I am gonna do is you I'm gonna take. You know she at least has nightshade, so yeah, I and Belladonna. Recommend it. No, Those I'm are the definitely. same thing. I know. Um, okay. Yes. Um, and Foxglove. Chat move. What? Um, nothing. I've never mind. Oh, I get it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take pictures of those two. 
I'm gonna take pictures of all of the plants. Um, just in case I run into someone with some botany knowledge, or if I can find a botany textbook in the library, I might be able to identify some of the ones that right. she has. Yeah, that'd be okay. coming handy if we need to kill anyone. <laughs> so you you take photos of the uh, the images uh, of the plants, and then mm -hmm. uh, you go back and you leave the room, I assume. Yes, I leave the room. Um, I'll take one last look around to see if there's anyone coming or if there's anything else that looks interesting. And if not, I will leave. Alright. Um... Let me see here. Uh, let me get back to here. Uh, it doesn't seem like anyone is coming. Uh, roll... Oh, spot... Uh... Mm -hmm. spot hidden with advantage. Okay. Chad's writing. Just adding more to my notes. Spot hidden with advantage. <laughs> uh, okay. You caught me. Extreme oh, sense. incredible. Um, you do see something that seems a little odd. Uh, okay. For you, only because you got an extreme success. Um, Love it. Much appreciated, Ryan. I owe you one. Um, it does seem a little odd to you. One of the shadows of the trees um, doesn't seem to move in the right direction for a second. Huh. Uh, and, huh. Uh, That's super creepy. It's night and I'm here alone. Uh, yeah, it doesn't well, seem to again. move in uh, the correct direction uh, for, for just a second, and then it, it sort of shifts back. Uh, okay. And I'm then, gonna take a picture uh, of that. <laughs> you, you take a photo of the tree. Okay. Um, and then uh, you leave the greenhouse and uh, you pass back into the uh, the, the serpent building. Yes. Um, and you see uh, Sinclair uh, sitting outside, sort of, uh, just laying on the on the grounds outside the serpent building, sort of staring up at the sky. Oh. Uh, do I talk to him? He's sort of stargazing. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna. I'm tempted to try to connect with Sinclair a bit here. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna lie down on the ground. Like, not close to him, but like a little farther away. Sort of look up at right. the stars as well. See if he notices me. About oh, ten feet away, I'd say. You lay down on the yard, uh, sort of a respectful distance away, but not too far. And you, uh... Uh... And you, you know, uh, sit down next... And, and he... He looks over at you, like, almost right away. He, he noticed another person coming up and, and sitting down near to him. And like, these kids won't leave me alone. He looks, <laughs> he looks back up at the stars, and then he gets, you get a sort of heavy sigh, like a... <sighs> and he comes on over, comes a little closer to you, sits down, and goes, Hey, Doc, how's it going? Oh, uh, hey, Sinclair, I didn't mean to disturb you, I just... It's a nice night, and when you were stargazing, I was reminded of when I used to do it with uh, with my folks out when I used to camp. Nice. Used to go camping. Nice. Yeah, I did some Are camping you... sometimes. Oh, really? Back were in you... the back when I was a young kid, though. I mean, obviously you can't do much camping when you're out here unless you want to stay in the forest, and I don't. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend it. As, as my RA. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Can you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not answering that question. <laughs> um, uh, it, is, it is restful. Yeah. Stargazing. Yeah. <sighs> and uh, I'm going to lie there with Sinclair for a bit, I guess. Yeah. You two lie there just checking out the constellations, uh, seeing... Uh no, it's way too early for that. Um, <laughs> no 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 no, seeing what? 
seeing some uh, eldritch. No, it is it is uh, literally yeah, I mean by like literally by date it is too early <laughs> for me to say that. Were you gonna say a roar bori? I was just like, no, 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 uh, no. Or a comment? Uh, no, I was. Or no. a comment. Uh, no, I was gonna say something else as like a, a joke and a really dumb hint. Um, but it's 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 too early for that. Uh, both narratively Hate and see it. um, literally by literally. date. Um, all right. So uh, that was your little stealthy adventure, Doc. That was very fun. Thank you. Um. So, uh, there you go yourself. Eugene, back to you for level ups. Yeah! Uh, I will go back to the jazzy elevator music for now. Um, roll engineering for me, buddy. Oh boy. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> my lord. Well, we hang on. Sketch our 1d10. Hey. Um, hell yeah. So, uh, you, uh, you have an engineering class and you're, you're sort of mm -hmm. paying attention to your engineering class. Uh, he asks you guys to, uh, just get some hands-on experience, use some, um, use the 3D printers to build, uh, something interesting to you and something that would hold, uh, I'd say... Uh, uh, a five pound weight um hmm. and so you spend a bit of time in the week but you, you already kind of you, you've used the 3d printers before uh but you get something that's a uh, pretty sturdy and uh he's actually able to put a 25 pound weight on it before it kind of cracks in the middle mm. nice <laughs> uh and and falters a bit um all right uh Raylan. i also have that same thing to roll yeah with a Ooh, guaranteed yes. success. I Good, Technically not yes. a guaranteed success. You can roll a no, one. No, 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 no. Because if I had rolled a one, you already gave that to Chet. <laughs> oh, my God. Huh? I'm sorry for your loss, buddy. Um, <laughs> so anyways, uh, Raylan walked off into the woods that night and was never seen again. Uh, you <laughs> get the same <laughs> assignment and uh, have similar results. It is your first time uh, using... 3D printers, so you're not as used to it as uh, Eugene is, but you get a little help from him. Um, and Eugene, you... I can help you. What, I can help you. What is why there's oh what the what does any of this mean? <laughs> it's uh, called AutoCAD. Um, welcome to computer aided design software. <laughs> where's where's Wikipedia? No. Um, <laughs> you can't. Right. That's not how this works. Doc, you are out of the race. Um, that was your last roll. Ah, oh, that was my last uh, skill, yeah. So, Eugene, mm. please roll mathematics for me. Am I going to get good at math? I mean, you almost yes. cannot fail, yeah. All right, cool. 1D, 10. Come on, give me big money. Ow. Well, that's something. Understandable. <laughs> um, all right. So uh, you pay a lot of attention in class. Uh, you get some of that mathematics brain chugging. Uh, mm -hmm. You know that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Um, like, yeah, dude. <laughs> you know that uh, X is equal to negative... Uh, X equals... Oh, shit. X equals negative B plus minus the square root of B squared minus 4C divided by 2A. Um, do I learn a song curry. for that one? <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> uh, Good. Uh, I didn't. I don't think I kind of said that correctly. Now that I think about it, but no matter what, um, negative B. That that's what you get. Uh, it's stuck in my head. And then Raylan, you're the only one with uh, things Let's left to roll. Let's see. So uh, roll spot hidden for me. I fucking uh, hate this game, dude. Shame. Sometimes. Um, just. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, gets good at computer. Well, roll your d10. You can get a computer. It'd be for really the, funny for if you got a 10, you got an 80 for computer. I'm gonna, use. I'll actually, I'll actually kill myself. No, it's Okay, terrible. good. Uh, uh, um, alright. So, I keep 
getting Twitter notifications. Stop. I used too many uh, hashtags. Now everything is retweeting our fucking tweet. Hey, um, good. All right. Uh, and that is your guys' improvement rules. Uh, that was fun. And, and you got a little bit of information. Uh, Doc, now that, just to, to, cause it makes sense to do it. Um, mm -hmm. what are you doing with that image on your phone? That's a good question. Um, are you showing it off to the group? Are you... We have a little meetup. Should we meet up at the, uh, at the bar and go over what we all did this week? You could definitely... Yeah, we can do that. Hmm. Do we get to Friday, Devin? Um, or w when do we get to? Let me What's check the my, day. Let me check my notes real quick. Uh, let me go over here. Session ten. Uh, yeah, here I'll I'll do a little bit of um, a monologue, just uh, okay. a bit, and then we'll go into you guys interacting and talking about the week. Um. So, it goes through, uh, and I will have, uh, actually, one more thing, Josh. Uh, oh? September 30th, a Wednesday, a day that you set a, uh, a, de a oh. date or a meeting for. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, you go back to, uh the Chinese restaurant number two mm -hmm. and you have to meet with some individuals uh, yes I do I by have the names of Kyle pair of envelopes Daniel. ready Kyle and Danny my uh, guys my friends would you friends. like me to come along for this one Eugene or are you doing this solo um I'll leave that to you you want to come sure I'll come along why not cool. alright um, as you did last time, uh, you guys meet up at Chinese restaurant number two, mm -hmm. and uh, Kyle and Daniel are there, uh, mm -hmm. and, and sitting there. They're, they've already gotten some food, they've already gotten some chow mein, uh, and they're vibing, uh, talking to each other in ASL. Um, and they see you come in. And they, you know, sort of calm down and, and, and wait for you guys. They they, they they puff their chests a little bit. and, and mm, Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's time to make some money. Do you guys, do you guys order some food? Speak for yourself. Uh, yeah, I order some food. All right. Uh, spend more money while you're at it. You guys I, order I, food. I, might as well. You sit down across from them. And uh, Kyle... Uh, says to you guys, all right, mm -hmm. so do you have the money? Yep. All right. As agreed upon. That's surprising. Uh, but hey, whatever you, whatever you need to do, right? Um, mm -hmm. yep. before we take the money, mm -hmm. we have another request. We've had a conversation. We've had some time to think. Uh... You said you've seen some weird stuff. You said you've been in the right place at the right time. Yeah. Give us some. We okay, need so we you... need a confirmation past just you telling us a story. We need a confirmation that something's going on. Well, then I guess I... Well, then, Doc, I guess thanks for coming along with me. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got a... Well. Got a few options for you, actually. Yeah, you, uh, earlier this school year, you remember that uh, that girl who kind of, you know, turned up dead? Yeah. Yeah, you remember how there was a dude who also turned up dead? Yeah, they said some, I don't know, drug related, right? Uh huh, yeah. Yeah, uh, turns more out. More like a bad translations related doc. All right, you want to actually see something? I open my phone and I scroll to the uh, original picture that I took of that ritual. Um, the one with the, uh, the Venus and Mars symbol. All right. Um, and I sort of shift my phone so they both can take a look at it. Um, and I'm, I'm still holding it. And I'm like, so, 
since you, I'll give you pretty much what we know about this. We were, we heard that the two of the, these two were dead uh, on campus. Well, we, sorry, we heard originally that just one of them was dead. Um, they, the school claimed it was a suicide, but a friend of ours thought that that was suspicious. So he called us in to investigate. Um, in the course of our investigations, we found, among other things, this ritual. Um, and it appears that she found it in the school library. She's not the only one we know of that's found something strange in the school library. I think there's something odd going on there, at the very least. Um, but what we believe happened is this ritual tied the two of them together in some way. And this spell that she cast, um, which involved a ritual sacrifice, actually, resulted in the deaths of both of them. Um, she was nowhere near him physically when he died as well, best we can tell, and that's about the strongest proof that I have that there was something going on here, but in my opinion, it's fairly convincing. Hmm. Uh, Kyle quickly translates as, as you're speaking, and Daniel holds his hand out as if to ask to hold the phone for a second. Oh, sure, I mean, you two could take a picture of it as well, it's only fair. Um, I would oh. just recommend not using the information. <laughs> uh, Kyle, uh, or no, Daniel, uh, the deaf one. Uh, yeah. Um, Daniel uh, looks over the thing uh, that you uh, showed him and then <laughs> swipes one to look at the instructions, uh, knowing that there, that there definitely would be something more to this. Uh, and then ah, yes, reads those fair. as well and then hands the phone back to you and turns to Kyle and, and nods uh, and Kyle goes well great uh, thank you guys very much uh, yeah I'm I'm actually quite glad we could resolve this amicably I heard there was some pretty messed up stuff that's happened in the past in terms of permanently shattering relationships but it you is guys are looking... meanie and yeah. <laughs> kind of yeah, we didn't sorry, want... I just needed to tell somebody else that we that, didn't want to do the that. Vibe I kind of got. Yeah, we d we didn't want to do that, especially since you two seem like quite pleasant individuals. Um, honestly, if you're looking for stuff and we are as well, um, if if we're sworn to secrecy, obviously that would be an exception. But if there's anything we find on our own that we'd like to share with you or that you'd like to share with us, I mean, I'd be willing to have a working relationship. How about you, Eugene? Yeah. I'd like to remind everybody involved that these two men did extort <laughs> money from Josh and like a lot of it for high school students. It was like a thousand dollars each. Right? Two thousand each. Two thousand each. If they they're, they're I should you. probably take that. Bite they out are. Of, uh, if, look, Sean. If they're yeah, ambitious and driven, kind of... I want what they find even more. <laughs> I'm uh, just saying. Kyle That's takes the envelopes out of out of your hands, uh, Eugene, and and gives one to daniel uh and they both count them real quick just to make sure um what a bunch of assholes <laughs> a lot of fucking money uh really like under the table and then they both pocket him and uh kyle says to both of you well yeah definitely if we find something uh we'll keep in contact mm. uh and Excellent. then i hope you guys have fun at the the, the fine tea club um, yeah. Sad I'm not. Four thousand dollars. Disappointed that I, not gonna know what it is, but, you know, that's like. Hey, I mean, it gives off kind of culty vibes, so we'll probably be sworn to secrecy. But if we're not, I mean, <laughs> I'll tell you what I can. Uh, we'll probably get killed in the process, so you're probably dodging a bullet. <laughs> hey, yeah. Hey, Doc. Yes. You, you, you mind uh, you mind paying for dinner tonight? Because I kind of... You know, <laughs> yes, yes, of course, Eugene. Uh, by the uh, way, thank you so much. That is so much goddamn money. All right. <laughs> they said, they said, they said $4,000 isn't enough for us. Tell us more. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe they know a mark when they see one. Um, what about, what a bunch of fucking assholes. Think? Well, you know, they got their two grand each. That's, that's a lot of their problem now. <laughs> All right. God damn it. Um, and now, uh, I'm going to do a bit of a monologue. Um, the calendar turns over into October. 
Fuck. Uh, and it is Thursday, October 1st. And allow me to choose something a little more meaningful. Uh, oh, I don't like that wording. Here, <laughs> it's terrifying, in fact. Let me do this one. Uh, that's a bit loud. Uh, that's good. And then I'll do... Get rid of you. Do you. Because I, I like this one. Um, and we turn over into October. Uh, you guys haven't really been actively noticing it, but... The campus has been changing as the season turns. Um, the trees are becoming the orange so that you so recognize. Um, the leaves are starting to fall, and the grass is becoming greener as it gets wet with rain and dew. And the campus looks darker as we turn towards fall. Uh, or return even more into fall. Um, but uh, at the same time, still sort of inviting. Uh, and as is tradition for this campus, Halloween decorations are already going up. Uh, of course. Mm -hmm. As you guys go between classes, uh, some teachers already have pumpkins outside their rooms. Um, hey. And little old witch decorations like splattered witch decorations on the doors uh <laughs> things of that nature as you sort of move into holy fuck the next month october this music slaps so fucking hard <laughs> holy shit. it's really good music <laughs> um on the first you do also get a text uh you get a text telling you that the third week of October, uh, there will be a school break. You will have a week off. Oh, oh. Um, and during that time, uh, for the period of the actual uh, school days, so five days, uh, a circus will be in town. Um, what? Oh my god, no. Uh oh. That's so cool. Ringmaster is a, a friend of Ivan. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's zero so sanity NPC. He <laughs> comes to sort of uh, cheer up the students uh, during the. I'm very the cheered month up right now. And uh, check in with his old friend, and uh, as sort of a special favor to Ibon. Oh um, my god! So that's what you all have to look forward to. Holy. Fuck. Uh, mm. And I'm sorry. This music slaps so hard. <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty great. This is, uh, I will say, just as a pause. Uh, that is the one I used for the the uh, dance. Obviously, I don't know if you was remember. it. Yes, I don't remember it slapping that hard during the that's dance. What I remember. That's what I was using during. The, I think I was. I had it a bit quieter during the dance, so I could get everything out. Um, okay. And, uh... I'll bring it back. Okay. Um... <laughs> That's the fucking October thing. <laughs> Fuck you. Just... <laughs> um... But, the so, uh, this is the theme of Laura from, uh, Silent Hill 3, I think. Oh, okay. Um, really? uh, so, yeah. And it is now October. And uh, if you guys go to the, if you guys do meet at the bar, I will have to play. I will be yeah, forced yeah, I know, by I know. thing to play the bar theme. That's all right. So it is um, Friday, you said. It is uh, Friday, the second. Okay. So, what are your guys' last classes again? Uh, I can Shoot. answer that question. I have my schedule. Uh, I forgot to write it down. I've just been going on autopilot. It's okay. In classes. <laughs> uh. All three of you have Algebra 2, the same class. Nice. Cool. Okay, cool. cool. So immediately after it's done, I find them and I fucking throw my arms around their shoulders. <laughs> like, and I get in between the two of them. Oh, uh, hey, Rylan, what's up? Hey, it's been hey. a long week. I feel like we barely talked. 
Oh, yeah, I've been surprisingly busy, actually. Um, me and Eugene finally worked things out with the other two for yeah, the Final Fantasy Club thing. Yeah, we did. <laughs> what do you guys Eugene, think? You want to? Dinner and lunch are on me for like the next week. I got you, man. Hey, thanks, dude. It's, you guys uh, want to grab some takeout? Yeah, let's, do. let's grab some takeout. Yeah. Grab some takeout and maybe go someplace a little quieter. <laughs> you know, sure. You yeah. Wanna, you wanna call up Howie and Trey. Uh, I don't think Trey's allowed in. Oh. <laughs> Trey's, uh, as far as you know, not allowed in. Dang. We'll yeah. have to ask well, Arthur about that when we get there. Well, yeah, you want to call up Howard, see if he wants to. Yeah, come? totally. I'll tell him dinner's on. Uh, Eugene and I, uh, or not Eugene and I, Doc and I. Sorry. Oh <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. No, I I I, I call Howard. You're like uh, hey, he says yeah, he'll meet you there. I mean, you have to hey, go through nice. his room anyway. Yes, we that's a good point. true. <laughs> uh, what, um, ask him what he wants from Chinese yeah, you, place number want? two. We're, going, we're at Chinese <laughs> restaurant number two. What do you want? Uh, he asks for a uh, vegetable lo mein. Cool, cool. Ve Very vegetable nice. lo mein. Uh, all right. You guys grab your, your food. Uh, you go down to the bar. Um, it's a Friday afternoon, so it's not um, busy as one would call a bar. Uh, I can change the music. Yes, I will. Um, Even though it slaps. Uh, no, the bar music I, is, bar theme is also. These both slap. They're both um, so good. Yeah, uh, I use I use way too much jazz in this campaign. Um, hey, you like jazz? It's fun. I think jazz you like jazz? Well. Uh, he does. So you guys go down to the bar, and I, I'd say there's about. Uh, um, Arthur is not there. And, He's hiding from me. Uh, there's about ten other students. Um, most of them upperclassmen. There's like one other sophomore, and the rest are juniors and seniors. Uh, and so they all sort of give you a weird look when you come in as three freshmen, but most of them just four shrug freshmen. It off. Sorry, four freshmen. Uh, most nice. of them just shrug it off. Uh, mm -hmm. My Rose uh, comes in, uh, which now that I'm saying her name, I am almost 100% sure that is the name of a Yu-Gi-Oh character. Um, <laughs> but My uh, Valentine. Yeah, My Valentine, that's what it is. Uh, but yeah, My Rose comes in, uh, or comes up to you guys and goes, well, it's a pretty busy night. Where are you guys sitting? We'll get a booth. Right. We'll get a booth, yeah. Yeah, you guys good. sit in uh, the corner booth that's open, um, and <laughs> uh, again, she she comes up to you and she goes, "Well, uh, anything to drink? You, uh, obviously, you guys brought your food with you, which is one hundred." You guys alive. serve food? No, not. I didn't think so. Normally, um, we got an air popper down here once and we served popcorn. Uh, that's pretty awesome. that. Um, That's pretty cool. But uh, it broke and no one else wanted to get one. So, no, we, we mainly just do water and drinks. Okay. Um, do you guys want I didn't thing? get, I didn't get a, I didn't get a drink from the Chinese place. So I'd, I'd get like a, like a Coke or something, you know? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll just buy a Sure. What'd you say? What do y'all got in the way of sodas? Uh, well, we mainly got stuff that gets mixed. Mixes, so, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, then I will Coke, take a root beer. Sprite, yeah, root beer, uh, ginger ale. Uh, yeah, how about a... Yeah, let me get some root beer. All right. Uh, Thanks. So, two root beers, a... Uh, what'd you say? I said oh. thanks. No, oh, really. really. Oh, uh, just a Coke. Yeah, two root beers, a Coke, and she points to Howard, and Howard just goes, Oh, yeah, uh, Sprite. And she goes, He goes, we only anything. serve Pepsi products. Nice! That's even um, better. Yeah. Uh, um, so, Howard I'll kind goes, of start. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, Howard yeah, just no, goes, Howard uh, so you guys gonna have a fun conversation? Oh, yeah, all uh, our conversations, conversations are fun. Um, yeah, I, you're right, Raylan. All our conversations are fun. 
I spent money. Oh, that sucks. Oh man. yeah, you had to bribe those guys. It's, it's not, yeah. it's, I don't want to say bribe more. That's what you come did. To, come to a mutual agreement on the amount of money that they could uh, accept in exchange for abandoning the tea club. Damn, um, you, you you bribed some kids. How much did it cost? Like a uh, few hundred dollars. Simple. Yeah, I don't want to talk about how much it costs. I, I, I just kind of, I very weakly point up. Ah. Mm. And then wow. I see him point up, and I raise my finger even higher than his finger is in the air. Look, I just, it, I don't want to, I don't want to uh, alarm any of you guys. Um, I mean, like, I'm. Yeah, because it's alarming. I'm not. It's, I mean, I'm not strapped for cash. I, I, I have the, I got the money. It just, it's still a large. The last time I spent a, you know, huge pile of money was for a laptop. Um, yeah. Were they grateful? What? Were they that grateful? I mean, that's they... a ton of cash for some high uh, school students. I mean, they seem pretty, pretty, pretty okay with it. You know? I would they... say more uh... smug than grateful, but, you know, <laughs> oh, so they're that's assholes. Cool. I didn't pick up on any smugness, per No? No, okay. I just, you know, it's, it's Maybe business. Just... You gotta, gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Hey, they didn't give you any trouble, did they? No, they didn't give me any trouble. Um, no. though, uh, we did give them some information on uh, the first ritual we ran into, though. Yeah, they're they aware we're in. What? You wanted more than the money? Uh, just, just um, more some reassurance that we're not just uh, just shoving them out of the way for our own personal gain, and that we're, you know, actually just things too. Yeah, I that guess. we're trying to do what they were trying to do. Um. So you told him about the dead girl? Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, Howard, Howard, you just like zoned out for a second, just like, ah, oh, shit. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, so not the fun conversation you were expecting. I'm, I'm sorry, Howard. Um, though, hey, speaking of uh, what's the people <laughs> we we didn't tell them about, uh, we didn't mention Trey. Um, so, uh, also, oh, good. we should ask I Arthur about Trey. Yeah. Yeah. We get the whole um, squad done here. So, I don't, you know, Arthur might, hmm. I talked Arthur. to Arthur this week. And? A couple times. Yeah? He's I get Arthur the feeling, I get, well, yeah, I get the feeling he was busy. And, uh, Arthur I was usual. taking up a lot of his time. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I did find out some interesting stuff from him. Oh, uh, I found not... out that he definitely has a thing for Alfred. Like, 100%. Like, he was like... I, I, I pointed out Alfred's obvious attraction to him, and he was all like, oh, oh, I don't know if I believe you. And then he was like, uh... And then, and then he was like, uh... Uh, even, even if so, I don't have the time for a relationship right now, so, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. Mm. But, but, but... Arthur's got that Batman energy. Yeah, I know. He, yeah. Uh... He calls me crazy um he doesn't call me crazy but he probably thinks it uh he did also ah. mention that he's working on something big oh something big. that's that's interesting he says I guess he that's be... what that says he says that's what he's doing when we're doing our stuff doc looks and a little he... a little dejected for a second he, he pulls out his phone he's like i guess i guess he wouldn't be interested in seeing the cool new thing i found from mrs bates then well, I think he might be. He seems to like when you a lot. Cool new thing from Mrs. Bates. Yeah, that was a very subdued reaction, Raylan. Oh, I was getting the disappointment of not being Arthur's favorite out of the way first. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, wait, anyways. No. Oh, he said you're his favorite. Um, In those <laughs> I parts? Don't, I don't believe that's what he said. Um, no, but, no, what he said is, that's essentially what How, he said. Howard just kind of, like... Per Howard himself just kind of pricks up for a second. That doesn't sound like something Arthur would say. No, no, no. But I could see it in his face. Uh, yeah, all right. Raylan, I think you're overthinking it. No, 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 no. Anyways, that's pretty much all I did with my time. I saw Headmaster Ayabon get in the elevator in the library and then disappear, but that's pretty normal for him, so... <laughs> I'll just have to try and catch him next time. Anyways, you said you had an encounter with... Okay, Mrs. nope, nope, I just realized I'm being stupid. Okay, stop talking. And then Doc, <laughs> looking panicked, pulls out his phone and writes on the screen and holds <laughs> it so only the three of you can see it. 
She's known every single thing that we thought was a secret up until this point. I am an idiot for saying anything out loud. Play it cool. I've stopped talking about Mrs. Bates. We'll bring this up in an hour 20 minutes. I text him and I'm just like, I think we're safe here though, right? I don't think she can... Like, she's been able to find stuff that we talk about in other places. Chad's we thinking this don't... is ruin rules. <laughs> we, yeah, a little bit. She, we, we don't know how she knows the things she knows, right? So, also, don't send it through text. Put it on a message note and then delete the note afterwards. Just There's show it There's literally no way we'll ever be able to talk about this if we don't do it here and now. Like, if uh, this place isn't safe enough, then no one is. Fine. I agree. Be quiet, right? Just... All right. Just be quiet. Play it cool. And then Doc starts talking about his encounters with Bernie and how Bernie's a cool guy. Um, and he starts telling you guys a bit about the time he's been spending in the library, some of the books he's been reading. Is Doc just talking to himself, or are you going to carry on this conversation for a bit here? You find books. That's pretty yeah. cool. Books. 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 All right, cool. Books. You, said you, you know, I got good at books All right. a little bit this week. Oh? Yeah. I read the actual required reading for English for, for a change. Um... <clears throat> oh, well, congratulations. <laughs> uh, anyway, I found a, a cool meme. You guys might like this. Oh, then Doc, nice. Doc oh, turns, yeah. <laughs> turns, his, turns his phone. Shut the fuck up, Fraylin. Doc gives you a death glare as you say that. As you start to say it, and then he turns the phone, and he... um. He shows you all the image that he took a picture of. The one with the uh, the pentagram and then the square and the weird oh, symbols. Oh, great. That's fun. More weird shit. Yeah, I found this in a folder. Ah, in the library? Folder. Yeah, in the library. In the library. <laughs> and, and, and then Raylan on the notepad. Raylan is looking at you like, yeah, I know. I found it in Mrs. Bates' greenhouse. He writes on the screen and then sort of shakes yeah. it on your face, deletes it, and then shows you. Yeah, the we, we, yeah, yeah okay. that was obvious. Cool. Uh, Great, glad to hear it. You know, I've also come to a bit of a realization this week. What's that? It doesn't matter what we say. What? Everybody else is in on it as well. We're actually the least in on it. Oh no, agree with that completely. I just don't I... want. Specifically, I, the admin of the server I found this on, knowing that I found it there. Makes sense? Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm just saying, you know, I've talked to Sinclair a little bit. He said he has insomnia, but it was clear he was avoiding saying something else. But oh, yeah, when I, I was like... Bit, it was nice. All right, Sinclair? Well, okay. Uh, depressed, <laughs> probably. But, um... Mm. He also, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll probably see some sketchy shit. And he was like, yeah. <laughs> he was like, yeah. Like, like nobody, everybody knows. I mean, I don't think everybody knows, but most of the people well, we interact how, with know. Howard sort of like raises his hand a bit, oh, just like not enough to get other people. He's like, um, as your sort of man on the normal <laughs> side, I guess. Um, not everybody knows. People get weird vibes from the school but uh i mean i only thought it was just a bunch of rich white kids like i didn't think it was this i mean it weird. is kind of that i look at yeah but like <laughs> <laughs> um moving along moving along, with it. <laughs> moving along. <laughs> and he's just kind of like but yeah no i i People get weird vibes from the school, but not everyone gets all that you and uh, let's just say you're interacting with a, a special subsection of the school. <laughs> well, here's a question. You're yeah. a man on the ground. Yeah. Eh, is anybody like, I mean, you hang out with us a, a fair amount, not a ton, you know, yeah. but, but a fair amount. Does anybody ever like talk about us? Um, In what way? <laughs> I don't know. No. Is, any, is anybody has anybody tried to spy on us through you? I really like uh, that's a question we should be asking you on a pretty, with the way that everybody always like knows what we're doing. I mean, you I are mean, one of our confidants. I feel like we should probably be asking if anybody approaches you. That's a good question, but no, no one's really been to me and been like, "Hey, you know, these kids." Uh, uh, yeah, no one's been through me at least. Okay. I don't know anything about Terry, but uh, I 
I'd err that uh, he's pretty good at not talking, or at least looking like he pissed himself. Um, yes, to the point I where agree. people wouldn't want to talk to him. <laughs> uh, well, you know, just um. Okay, you said Terry. You mean Trey, right? Sorry, Trey. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Um, um I, I forgot that Terry's a different character. Um, and I got Trey, yeah. Regardless. <laughs> Too many team you know, characters. No, you if anybody, if anybody, like, you know, does come asking. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, t I'll, I'll warn you guys. All right, cool. Because we're in some shit at this point. Um, yeah. Now, ooh. huh? What, what shit are we getting specifically, Raylan? In your well, there's the whole I thing that calm down for now. Well, we have the whole thing that happened with Headmaster Ayaban and I. Well, that's, that's entirely your fault. Yeah, that's an isolated <laughs> event. You took yeah. a break from <laughs> by a strange old man. Doesn't matter if he's yeah, an isolated but, incident. <laughs> this but is what happened was incident. crazy. Yeah, and you you should have seen that a mile away. I don't understand why. I don't think we've told Howard about this. Uh, oh, Howard was Howard. there. Was yeah. he? Yeah. Look, yeah. He was he there when I, we said what happened, though? I. He was there during the party. I don't think he... I don't know if he has the full context, but he was, like, watching. Uh, yeah, okay. He, no, okay. He, he, I think he came up and asked if there was any weird shit going on, and Frank was like, yeah, Raylan's going crazy, and he's like, oh, so the normal. <laughs> Look, Raylan, I mean, like... I've never done drugs, but <laughs> what you what you experienced just seems like a really bad trip no, from how I understand. No. I time traveled. Okay. Yeah, people have No, I I no. No, I no, no, no. I'm, I'm, not time saying, I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm I am i am not i am not saying I don't believe it, you. Dude, I'm I'm just saying that the problems incurred by you doing that. Oh yeah, sure. Entirely brought on by yourself, and not something we got dragged into as a result of sure, the sure, sure. nuttiness like of this school. I, like I will Doc's say like, that's from... probably a hallucination. And uh, Eugene's like, no, no, he time traveled. It just doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I got from Jessica this time the hair color, right? Yes. I still don't know her name. Long black hair. Uh, Wait, no, I know her name because you know I because I cross referenced don't know her. What, yeah. what okay. She looks like. Because Jessica said something different to me when I was reliving it all. I told you guys that, right? Yeah, that you is that her portion of the range. of the time travel changed, yeah. which I haven't really thought about. But what the fuck? Okay. Wait, why did her portion of the time travel change? That is weird. But also, okay. Uh, first of all, objectively strange that the headmaster of the school was drinking what's essentially a drug cocktail. If it's strong enough to do that to you, <laughs> and all he had was a sip, and he's just casually chugging it from what you told us? And offering it to students. Terrifying. Really? Um, that part, I'm full on board of it being weird, but also, like, you've had bad dreams, right, Raylan? This could just be your, <laughs> your mind and all of your paranoia about this Jessica character reacting you... with, you know, your subconsciousness. Do you and the remember drug. the time where we all had the same dream together? Uh, oh! I didn't have that dream, though. Oh, you didn't? Sadly, I'm afraid not. <laughs> I didn't have anything that you described. And I usually have chronic nightmares, but... No, they've been pretty peaceful since coming to the school. I mean... Oh, <laughs> uh... Eugene, I told you I saw him again, right? Uh, yeah, I know, you mentioned that. Um... The, the desk. <laughs> you mentioned it a few nights ago, yeah. and then we just dropped it to go, uh, to this place. Yeah. Well, um, so he just, just kind of asked me how things were going. Well, how so, how were things going? Well, I told him that everything's fucked up. <laughs> mm. And mm. I told him, I, I asked him what he was. What did he say? Uh, he, well, I asked if he was God, and he was like, I'd like to be. And then That's I was a concerning like, thing to hear him say. Yeah, and then I, I was like, you know, I'd... I think I said that I wanted to ask what he was, but I wasn't going to get anything out of him. And he was like, yeah, that is a good question, especially the what part. And then I was like, everybody in this universe is so unhelpful unhel or something like that. And then I woke up. Yeah. But yeah, um, huh. hey, why did her portion of my time travel change? What do you think, Howard? Howard, <laughs> uh... 
leans in it with a female voice, says it's because no, um. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Scared the shit oh, no. oh my uh, god. That would oh, break no. Sean in two. Uh, that would break Raylan in two. No, Howard goes. And Sean. Uh, Howard yeah. goes. Uh, yeah, man, I have no idea. Like, if ch you said you don't know what she looks like, I know she. I I'm actually, trying to kind of uh, get the I... context for this one. You don't know what she looks like. Okay, um, well, hang on a second. I okay. I actually do remember part of it now. Uh, for, since my latest meet up with her, I now can remember that she has dark hair. That is progress. I have gained dark memories hair. about her. Cool. Um, and uh, he he sort of goes. Uh, I mean, isn't that weird in, in and of itself though that you can only remember like one specific detail? Yeah, that's what sparked all of this because I have a great memory. Okay. And I could not remember a single thing but her name after I met her the first time. And this time I can only remember her name and her hair color. Mm -hmm. And also, the rest of you can't... You guys have all encountered her and can't remember anything about her either. Right? Is that what you said to me? I mean... You, you've said dark hair enough times, it's kind of stuck, so... Yeah. Yeah. Just, you know, somebody... Well, it's not so... just me. Howard just kind of goes, well, yeah. I don't know, maybe she, like, uh, maybe she has some, like, weird uh, perception blocky thing. Uh, maybe she's an alien. Huh. Alien. Um, what did, uh, what did, um, Ayabon call her? I wasn't there for that. I was oh, fucked up at the time. You can... You I was going to roll no, intelligence if you want. Yeah, let me though. let me roll intelligence see if I can remember. Let me, uh, let me roll int uh skills. I think int. I I think I could, I like uh, I Sean remember, but I don't think Raylan would. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure I remember what he called her. I believe he called her an intruder. I don't remember. That's what I was thinking intruder. as well. Yeah, he called her the intruder. Howard goes, "Well then, yeah, maybe she's an alien." Huh. And he called. He's also somewhat aware, then. Saying. Well, not much we can do about it now. And I have a feeling that whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. Yeah. Mm -mm. I guess if we see her again, we'll say hi. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Be friendly. Did you say you? She said something to you. Yeah. Yeah, she did, and it was kind of weird. It was... Oh, it was like, yeah, it well, that was, seemed to be most of your interactions with her. It, yeah. Um, what's this? She said something like, I, I, she only feels, like, alive or real when she's near us. Oh, that's... Disconcerting. Um, I kind of would like to know more about that. Maybe she, you know... Maybe she needs some pals or something. I don't know, dude. She can be our friends. <laughs> Raylan says very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but like, I mean, like actually though. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean like, you know, like like Howard and Trey, like you know. Yeah. Part of the part of the crew. Yeah. Okay. What do you? Not just what... you know, kept around so you can interrogate her. No. No, why would you say that? I am no very interested in getting to know her. Okay. As am I. Fucking, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> teenage boy time. Howard just sort of. Raylan. Hey, go ahead. Uh, teenage boy time. Raylan shoots Eugene some side eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Eugene, roll uh, psychology. Roll psychology. <laughs> yeah, roll psychology if you want to know what's going on in I my head. Spend the seven luck. <laughs> you do. You spend, I seven, spend luck. The seven luck. Raylan, what was that look? What did what what did that look sort of portray? That is portraying the fact that Raylan is, let's say, <clears throat> in, very interested in the concept of Jessica as a as a person and. Uh, did not like the way that uh that eugene was what exactly did eugene say again 
Um, uh, she said she I think I just was like feel around them. Well, no, no, no. I mean, he. I I shot the side eye because I said something like, "I'm very interested in being her friend," and then, and then Eugene was like, "Yeah, me too." And then he was like, "Hmm." Mm-hmm. He was like, he was like, mm, back off. Uh. Um. <laughs> <laughs> is is a. Hey, you are you good. You good, Raylan? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Is something you need to say? <laughs> and Raylan, Raylan's voice cracks when he says it. He says, "I'm fine." Huh. Uh. <laughs> I give, I give you Oh, look. how the tables <laughs> have turned. <laughs> I think I. If see anybody's. How it is. If anybody's uh, not caught up yet, uh, Raylan definitely has a crush on a possible multi-dimensional being. <laughs> Incredible. Just in case anybody was slow to the uptake of what was happening. Mm-hmm. I see how it is. He's fascinated by her. Yes. A deep scientific uh, interest, and that's, of course, <laughs> he would say that is all. Uh-huh. Okay, then. Um, well, we'll see how things go. Perhaps better than, uh, than, uh, things went when I tried to (laughs) get to know somebody. Um, what are you talking about? What am I talking about? You know, I don't, I don't Mm -hmm. know what you, I don't know what you're insinuating. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. I think I, I think you know full well what I'm insinuating. That was a pretty good, that was a pretty good voice crack. I was pretty pretty happy with that one. (laughs) Well then, um, so yeah. let's change the subject. <laughs> let's change the subject. Yeah, let's let's see what else happened. Um, hmm. I don't Here's think there was Francis has been. <laughs> I think Francis has been tired I, since the game. Legitimate, legitimate hand waving. Francis has been uh tired Not since the game, and um going to practice regularly still uh mm-hmm. and sort of just being holed up in his room um, okay so the answer is he's just kind of being uh antisocial for this week that's his style yeah. of relaxing he didn't want to hang out with us tonight but i understand yeah but hey at least it's the weekend and it's a new month maybe yeah. it's all october be chill in october it's spooky month Oh, is... God. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It is spooky, man, isn't what you... it? What do you guys think about that carnival? <laughs> I was gonna say. I think this that... Is... I think that the fact that he's a personal friend of Headmaster Ibon is yeah, I was gonna terrifying. Say, I, I, I heard about that. I am very intrigued to meet this guy. Me too. Maybe he'll give us more time travel juice. I'm no. excited to meet him from a distance. You know what? Honestly, maybe he's... No, it's... I would definitely do it again. <laughs> uh, yeah, but like you want to try and figure out how to get you know less sketchy versions of it, and I strongly doubt that you'd get a safer version from somebody with a carnival. <laughs> I wonder if we could get a sample and bring it to your guys's friend. Huh? Bates. Me? Oh, um. She might be able to tell us what's in it. Yeah, but I feel like that would be a bad idea. Um, Probably. Well, you know, you know, we don't have much of a choice. I feel like there's a good chance that she might know what it is already. Or if not, we can hold that over her. We can have something <laughs> to, something that we know that she doesn't. <laughs> and be smug for all of ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> how the turns would have tabled. How I wish the we could turn figure tables. out how she keeps figuring out things. That would be helpful. It would <laughs> suck if... Eyes and ears everywhere. The fucking plot twist of Hence Act my One question. of the campaign is the reveal that Howard's a spy. <laughs> Howard's been Howard's the double agent. Howard that would, would really be something. What a Definitely terrifying don't super idea! Doesn't, doesn't don't say that. <laughs> we really just trust him. Does Howard <laughs> die or betray us? That is the question. That is a good Both. question. Um, yeah, betrays you then dies. The ultimate tragedy. Um. Why? All right. <laughs> Any more conversation well, guys, you guys want to have? Well, you've been. I think it probably. Answer. I think it probably just falls away into idle chatter of like. Yeah. It's the weekend. Pog. <laughs> Let's go. And all right. Um, 
You guys spend a lot of time that night. Uh, you guys spend a lot of time long into the night drinking your non-alcoholic beverages, uh, eating your Chinese food, and, and generally enjoying yourselves. Uh, and eventually, mm -hmm. you know, uh, time turns to uh, uh, time to sleep. Um, it gets late, but because you have uh, no school the next day, but eventually everyone needs to go to sleep. And so the bar empties out and uh, I'd say about 1 a.m. Uh, my Rose comes out from behind the bar and goes, all right, chatters, come on. Let's get you headed. Uh, let's get you headed back to your dorm. Um, and she walks you guys back to, uh, like, she, you sort of get out, and she, uh, th there is no, th the door is sort of, uh, the doorway is empty, so she mimes locking a door, uh, and then she, uh, walks you guys back to Howard's room, uh, and, and sends you up, and goes, well, uh, good night, guys. Good night. Uh, good night. Thanks for the walk. And, Thanks. Uh, she stays down in the tunnels and uh, goes to wherever she, she goes. And then um, you guys are back in Howard's room. You, you sneak out. Uh, I won't have you roll for it. Um, but uh, you sneak out and you go back upstairs to your dorm. Uh... Sinclair is is waiting outside your dorm room. Oh. Uh, oh, hey, Sinclair! What's just, going on, man? As you're already, it is important to inform you that there is <laughs> technically a curfew. Now, I don't know how you got past the door, um, but however you did it, whether magic or mundane, try to not stay out so late oh oh right. didn't realize it had gotten so late already sorry about that oh, sinclair wow all right all right yeah. bye sinclair bye guys <laughs> um and you guys he... think he actually sleeps <laughs> <laughs> i heard that slinks back to his <laughs> oh no um, sinclair. uh he, he he slinks back to his uh, ra dorm and uh you guys get into yours uh, Frank is already fast asleep. Um, mm. And you all lay down. and Almost like he's not even here. <laughs> and, mm. and head <laughs> to pillow. Uh, and? 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 I recognize this music. And Josh. Um, oh no. You have a dream that night. Oh no. Uh, no! Okay. <laughs> Did you say oh, no? no? <laughs> oh, I said oh no. Oh. Uh, no also works, though. It's even funnier. It's a sort of infinite blackness uh, around you. You 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 feel like you're at a point, but uh, you don't really feel much space around you. Um, but off into the distance, impossibly far away, you see... Uh, a lantern. What looks like a lantern. And it turns to shine its light on you. And then you wake up. <laughs> Alright. You see the, the light of a lantern, Devin? Uh, a lantern feels like it turns to shine its light on him. What the fuck? That's interesting. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, thank you all for the session. No. <laughs> this is this is the end of this week's session. Uh, mm -hmm. it was a more relaxing. What does that one. mean? Um, it's lint. It's a you. You got another visit with the desk guy. I got the <laughs> lantern again. <laughs> well, yeah. This is the first time we've had the lantern, isn't it? Second time. Second. Um, yeah. Last right. time it was just far away. Oh, now it's getting closer. This time that's it not turned. bad. <laughs> this time it turned. Cool. That's definitely okay and good and cool. All right. Cool. Good. Well, uh, thank you all for coming, as always.
Uh, and thank you to anyone in the chat who, who came to watch, as always. And if you're watching this on YouTube, consider giving us a sub. Um, and follow us on Twitter and all that other good stuff. Uh, but that is going to be the end of this session. Um, so uh, this one was Sans Brendan. Uh, the next one will be Sans Chad. Uh, mm -hmm. And because of the lineup uh, being how it is, I, I will actually sadly have to actually change the names. Uh, instead of just adding a skull in place of the person. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh, so next one will include Brendan, but will not have Chad. Uh, and it will uh, also sort of uh, go the story. Uh, and then um, we will move into... Uh, uh, we, we'll have a small hiatus where uh, Josh and Sean will be running sessions. Um, Indeed. While wanna... I am on the road. Uh, hmm? Well, I'm going to end the recording did... here. Oh, or... you're going to end it here? Okay. Yeah. Uh, did you want me to do another thing? I was going to ask if Josh had anything he wanted to say about his, since this is coming first. Um, right. Well, it is on the 20th, yeah. Um, so, uh, oh boy, this is going to be my uh, first you just time. Because when it's like where it's set or something, you don't have to do anything yes, big. But I, like, just... I, 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 sure. Um, so it is, um, going to be my first time trying to run something in Call of Cthulhu. However, it's going to be running the same setting that I ran, uh, that I've run everything so far in <laughs> on this channel. Um, it's going to, as I had, I had been joking around with people that had been wanting to run a moon session as there is stuff on the moon in my setting. Um, and that is this in, on the 20th moon session. Mm -hmm. First time running something in Call of Cthulhu. Um, it takes place a little more than... A century and a half before odd jobs happens um but it's uh going to be yeah quite interesting uh, it's going to I'm be very excited. it is going to be very interesting devin knows things because he's <laughs> not going to be there for it but yeah uh, i'm not going to be I, there it, so i'm helping with uh figuring out the system yeah um i might put the uh primer and a little teaser image in the uh in the public server later tonight all right um, cool. and i'll probably talk about mine next week i think that'll be close enough all right yeah. well thank you both very much um all right and that is going to be the session awesome